Welcome into New York Giants now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. We got a lot to talk about in today's show. We're going to break down the latest injury report for the New York Giants. And Kayvon Thibodeau and Evan Neal were on that injury report. We'll break that down. We'll also talk about Tay Crowder, some news from yesterday. We had already put out a video and... I didn't think talking Tay Crowder for just one video was kind of worth it. So we'll talk about him after he has been released from the football team. And then we're going to go through my Giants versus Vikings preview. I'll give you my keys to victory if the Giants want to pull out a dub. And we're going to go two mailbags today where we answer questions from subscribers. So if you want to be featured on the mailbag, you better go down right now and hit that big red button. Let's start the show, though, with a question, as I like to call it, audience buildup. Let people start to pile in the chat. Let's get the chat rate going. I want to know, who do you got? Who do you got this weekend? You rolling with the Giants? You rolling with the Vikings? Who do you got? Type NYG for the Vikings. M-I-N for the Minnesota uh, Vikings. NYG for the Giants. M-I-N for the Vikings. I don't know if I said that right. It's a little bit hazy from last night. It is what it is. Shout out to Mr. Assassin, already getting his question. K. Scott, Flames, Loso, Lennis, Corinne, Carlos, Dean. The real ones are in the chat already. That's what we like to see. Let me know, who do you got winning the football game come Saturday? I think I said Sunday earlier, but the game's actually on Saturday. What up, K. Scott? Mr. Assassin, what up? Crim's dad. What's up, Brody? A little later start today. We had a lot of stuff we had to do at the office a little bit later of a showtime start. But here we are, breaking down the latest Giants news and the latest Giants rumors. We're going to get to more updates, news, and analysis here in a second. But first, I want to tell you about our proud sponsor of today's show, and that is Rocket Money. Cancel unnecessary subscriptions, one that you no longer want, ones you didn't know you had, or maybe a subscription you've been double charged for. Get hooked up with Rocket Money. Go to rocketmoney.com slash giants now. Optimize your finances with them and keep track of your expenses. It's an awesome app that's helping me save money because there's nothing like having a subscription that one, you didn't know you had, two, you thought you canceled, or three, you're having a hard time canceling the subscription. Rocket Money is a place that shows you all your subscriptions on one page and helps you cancel them with just a touch of a button. Stay on top of your upcoming bills. Let Rocket Money cancel your unwanted subscriptions. Go to rocketmoney.com slash giants now. Because it's like, you know when you have a subscription that you didn't know you had and you check your credit card account and bank statement, you're like, why am I paying $19.99 for Netflix that I didn't even use or know I had? Why am I paying for this gym membership like Nick Roloff back in Rochester that you tried to cancel, but they wouldn't let you? They made you talk to Jim on the phone, then go to the website and do all that. Well, if Nick would have been hooked up with Rocket Money, he just could have tapped cancel, and he would have done that for him. And they'll negotiate better rates for you. It's an awesome app. Optimize your finances like I am with Rocket Money. Go to rocketmoney.com slash giants now. You like that? That was solid because that's a true story. <laughs> I'm still getting charged $10 a month from my gym. <laughs> Back in Rochester. <laughs> I don't go to that piece anymore. <laughs> oh, Sahagan's detailing, my guy. What up? He says, let's go Niners and Chiefs. Giants, please win. That is right. If the Giants beat the Vikings and the Niners and Chiefs or somebody else. I, I remember I put it in the show, but it's a lot of stuff. Giants need some help. They can clinch this weekend if they win and then get some help from somebody else. Shot to, to Hagen's detailing. Did I even bring a shot glass in here today? So Hagen's detailing, getting us started. You guys know how we do the first super chat of the day. We are going to take a shot of fireball. No beer shotguns today. It's because we ran out of ammunition last night on our Knicks live show. Seeps had the brilliant idea that we'd do back-to-back. -back, like, load it, chug it, then reload it and chug it, and it was a disaster. Neither of us finished. Yeah, how did that go? And they both of the second ones sprayed everywhere. I mean, I feel like if you're racing, it's just going to create chaos. It was, it was, it was brutal. It, it was not fun. 
Sahagans, my guy. Let's welcome in producer Roley. Low key, the good luck charm. Low key, the good luck charm. You were here for tight Texans win. Texans, and then I was here for the big Commanders. Win. The big Commanders win. I think you were also here for Seahawks. We lost. I was. That we game. lost that one. We don't talk we're two about two and one. For, I'll take those odds. Four and two. The first six one. Six and three. The first nine one doesn't and four. Count. We don't talk about the first one. We only talk about the next two. You're only good as your last two. And the last, Roly last two on Giants is a win. Alzo, my guy, is in the chat. Alzo, a legend on the channel. Alzo is one of the first people I remember noticing seeing his name back in the chat when we had like 2,000 subscribers, 3,000. Like it was always Alzo in the comments. I got a soft spot for my guy, Alzo, a real one. And he's an OBJ fan, he's a Giants fan. He's a real one, always holding it down. Shout out your city for me in the comments section. I see some people are already doing that. My guy Jacobs in Laredo. Alzo, watching from Serbia. My guy. Manny's in Cali, I think. Germany from Lenis. Mr. Assassin's in New York. Leandro's in Houston. Reginald's in Virginia. Marty's in Virginia. What up, Marquise Robertson? Chap City is in the Bronx to Bridgeport, taking over the Giants blue. Charles is in Philly. Hope you're not a Birds fan. Oh, Aces of Aces 27 with a $20 super chat. Bang! Shout out to Aces of Aces, a real one here on the channel. I feel like this might this show might get wild today. You think? I mean, they're coming off a big win. A big win on Sunday. You never Everyone's know. Everyone's been hyped. Both videos this week so far are doing really well. Okay. The energy's in the air for Giants fans. Shot to aces of aces. I'm taking a shot for my guy. My question is: Is while wow, Marsh is pulling out that shot, y'all are New York Giants fans? Any baseball fans in the chat? Who's and, your baseball team? And if you like, why yeah. for Yankees and for Mets? Let's see. Because I'll tell you. Most of you guys know I'm a Patriots fan for football, but we still root for the Giants a little bit here. <laughs> but in baseball, I'm a Mets fan. Oh, I'm seeing a ton of Ys. Oh, no. Not any M's? I was going to say, let's party this whole up for Correa, but no one Corinne wants to party. Corinne says Mets huge signing today. Yeah, Corinne, I knew it. I knew it. I knew OG was a Mets fan. But don't let Roley fool you. Two weeks ago, he was complaining about their owner spending too much money. Alzo's a Mets fan because he's – the OGs are Mets fans. Sorry to break it to you. Just had to the say. real New Yorkers? The real New Yorkers, yeah. <laughs> but I will say this. On rebuttal, what he just said about uh, me complaining about money, I just thought they paid Justin Verlander too much money. I mean, 42 million a year is a little too much for my liking, but hey, they went out. Steve Cohen – I was unfamiliar <laughs> with his game. He, he did what he had to do. I told you. He's going to – he told you he would do it. I, I, had to, I told you I had to see it before I believed it. What, you get the three most expensive free agents this offseason per year? On AAV, just one. Crea, oh, and then the other guy you already had at 41. Oh, uh, yeah, Scherzer. Scherzer. Dia, yeah, there was more AAV, but I digress. I like it. I like the signing for the Mets. Um, <laughs> also, <laughs> y'all still got Cano on the payroll? We do. <laughs> a funny story about that, Alzo, that you asked that. I saw a tweet come across my wire today. With all of the spending the Mets are doing, you know who is fifth on the Mets payroll this year? Cano. Robinson Cano. Even though they cut him, they owe him $24 million this year. That is ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I'm pretty sure this is the last year they have to pay him. This is next year. But either way. I am curious, though, if that the MLB reporters – my and my quick little tangent here. Uh, I wonder if the m baseball beat reporters count Cano when they're talking payroll. I am. You have to. I mean, I don't know if they are though. But, but they I'm should. Sure. Crim's dad, last Mets talk. Yes, that he is still getting paid. <laughs> How many more years of that? I think we're winding down. I think it's like I'm tired of that one day a year. It's the Bobby Day. Like, let's, let, let's give it a look. Still thinking. I'm tired of that BS. I am tired. Of hearing about that. I'll tell you this, though. What I'm not tired of is watching the Giants win football games. We haven't seen it in quite some time. Prior to the game against Washington, I want to say the Giants were 1-4-1 one, one in their last six. But it doesn't matter. 
You're only as good as your last game, and they were good enough to pull out the win versus Washington. Okay, before I go off screen, answer the Bobby Bonilla, Bonilla uh, question, excuse me. He's getting paid through 2035. So, good more night. Years. I have to hear about this for 12 more years. Freaking, I hate that guy. I don't even know anything about him. Oh, I guess it is what it is. Look, if you want the Giants to beat the Vikings on Saturday, go ahead, hit that thumbs up icon for your boy. It is 97 people up in the chat right now and only 32 likes. Those are rookie numbers. Pump those numbers up. Pump, pump, pump it up. Hit those thumbs up. So let's go. If you've already liked the video, I want you to type me in the comment section for a shout out. We're about to get into the latest news and rumors surrounding the New York Giants. But we want to get as many Giants fans as we can in the chat today. If you like the video, that's the best way to support the show. Shout out to Alzo, Corinne, Devon, Marty, C-Note, Aces of Aces, Victor, Reginald, Bobby, M. Mulvey, and Tucker. Leandro, Manny P says Bobby Bonilla should be a billionaire. Shout out to Ben G-Men. Is it Ben G-Men or Ben G-Men? A little play on words right there. I like it. Shout out to Lennis12. Tito. What up, Tito? What up, Loso? Mr. Assassin. I like it. He says the Vikings suck. F Minnesota. F Seeps. That's what we're talking about. Seeps had to be off today because he said I couldn't do any more Giants content during Vikings week. So we had to give Seeps the day. Off. We do have two mailbags coming up on the channel. If you want your questions to be featured on the mailbag, I want you to ask a question. I want all the real ones in the chat. Because I see my guy C-Note in the chat. And Crim's dad. Package delivered? Did it? I'll, I'll, I'll message out there and let me know if it gets up there. If, it, if, it, if it's here. Now, I'm going to give uh, the surprise away because my guy Crim's dad is an MVP. Not this game day. We have a surprise for that that I don't want to let everybody know about, but I'll tell you this much. If you want to go to the Giants versus the Colts game, you better tune into the game in the watch party this Sunday. That's all I'll say. If you want to go to the Giants v. Colts game, tune into the show on Sunday. But next Sunday against the Colts, our Super Chat MVP is going to be gifted from Crim's dad, one of the the owner of the biggest Super Chat in channel history at $300. Crim's dad is donating a signed Giants football by Aziz Ojolari, and we are going to be giving that away to the Super Chat MVP. Shout out to Crim's dad, forever a legend here on New York Giants, now by Chat Sports. It's honestly the coolest thing I've had happen to the channel. The, like the fact that he's willing to donate the ball and, and let us auction it off. Like that is to support the channel. That's awesome. So not this Sunday against the Vikings, but next Sunday against the Colts, we're going to be auctioning off an Aziz Ojolari signed football if you're a real Giants fan, you're definitely going to want to get your hands on that. Use hashtag Giants in the comment section. I need a question. Shout out to Alzo. Shout out to Mr. Assassin. Javier, go ahead and ask a question for me. Corinne, help me out. Devon, ask a question for me. Shout out to Marquise Robertson. Always getting his questions in. If you could, I would appreciate you getting those questions down in the comment section. It makes life on producer Nick Roloff much easier. The more questions we have, the more mailbag and the more length we get to do. We're going to be doing two mailbags today. If we don't get the questions, I guess we'll just bounce on out of here. And uh, we don't want to do that. We want to answer questions from subscribers. So if you want your question answered, go ahead and drop a hashtag Giants with a question about what do you think is going to happen this Sunday? How can the Giants win? When's Xavier McKinney coming back? Who are the Giants going to target in the draft? Free agency. What do you think of Day Bowl? Is Jones coming back? Should they tag and trade Barkley? Any question you got, just include hashtag Giants in it. Make sure it looks like it does right there in your question because our software will pull the question like that. Javier, what up, Brody? 
Manny P, you got to include a hashtag Giants in there. Oh, hashtag Giants. We'll get better. We got some more time. Let's get into the latest rumors and news surrounding the New York football Giants. Going into the season, when the Giants started off with a really great record, before our preview videos, I always said, if you want the Giants to be blank, like the video. And then we went 1-4-1 and one over our last six. But before this week's or last week's game against the Commanders, I said, let's change it up. You guys know I'm a super superstitious guy. We changed it up. We said, if you want to beat the Commanders, just type win in the comment section. It worked last week. I'm hoping it works this week. If you want the Giants to beat the Vikings, I want everyone watching this video right now to just comment win down in the comment section. Welcome into Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. We have a loaded show today for all of the real ones out there. We're going to be breaking down the Tay Crowder release after he has been released from the New York Football Giants. Look, it, it, it's a tough situation. We kind of saw it coming, but we have, uh, we have some words from the coaching staff on Tay Crowder. We'll get to the latest injury report from the New York Giants, and I'm going to give you my Giants versus Vikings preview. But first... Let's give our, our flowers to our guy, Kayvon Thibodeau, who was named the NFC Player of the Week. Shout out to Kayvon Thibodeau. Had 12, sackles, uh, uh, 12 tackles, a sack, a strip sack, a touchdown versus the, minute, uh, versus the Washington football team. He deserved it. He earned it. I mean, look at the stats on screen. He made a game-changing play in the game to defeat the Washington football team. He did everything he could. He was all over the backfield. He's making stop after stop. So let's show our guy, Kayvon Thibodeau, some love right now. Go ahead and type his jersey number five down in the comments section. Type five to show our guy, Kayvon Thibodeau, some love. Let's get to the news of the day. This actually happened yesterday. I just wanted to quickly break it down on the channel. It is official. The New York Giants have released former, or, or is it Mr. Irrelevant, even though if you're not the most recent Mr. Irrelevant, or are you a former Mr. Irrelevant? Former Mr. Irrelevant, Tay Crowder, the inside linebacker for the New York Football Giants, has been released. He had fallen out of the rotation at the inside linebacker spot a couple of weeks ago after the game. He tweeted out, free me. Well, Tay, you're officially free, my guy. This is what Winkle Martindale, the defensive coordinator, had to say about Tay Crowder and his release. He said, I think that it was one of those things where it just didn't work out with the expectation of execution, and things just kept building up and building up. And you want to give a guy time to correct it, and we just didn't have the time for him to correct it. They can say that this was a performance-based thing. At the end of the day, it didn't work out. Um, he wanted more playing time. The Giants weren't giving him playing time. And then he was complaining about it. And he really wasn't producing all that much with the playing time he got. But we, it wasn't just a couple of weeks ago where we saw his playing time go down a significant number and his snap count. I mean, when you look at the stats so far, Crowder was a healthy scratch versus Washington. But when you look at it, first game of the season, he played 100% of the snaps, then 83%, then 100 then 100, then 79, then 68, then 68. That's where it falls off. 34% back in week eight. And then since then, he's been completely out of the rotation, playing 3% of snaps, 31, 8, 0, and 25. The guy just was no longer a part of this Giants rotation at the inside linebacker spot. And a large part to, to do that was when the Gi Giants signed Jalen Smith in free agency a couple of weeks ago. And the guy has taken over at the starting inside linebacker spot. I mean, in 11 games played this season, he has 70 tackles, two tackles for loss, a QB hit, one fumble recovery. I like Jalen Smith. I like Tate Crowder. I don't think either are great inside linebackers. They're both solid, no doubt about it. But if you're going to be not the best player at your position and you're going to be somewhat of a head case and a locker room problem complaining about playing time, you ask to be free. Well, you're free as hell right now as a free agent. So I want to ask this question. Who is a better player? Because a lot of people hit me up on Twitter yesterday talking about, but Marshall, why did they do this? Jalen Smith is worse than Tate Crowder. And I had people talking about, I'm glad they did this. Jalen Smith's better. So what do you think? Who do you think is the better football player right now? Right now, who is better? Type 54 for Jalen Smith. Type 48 for Tate Crowder.
Let's get to the injury report that the Giants released following their practice on Wednesday. Guys that did not participate at practice, Adoree Jackson and Xavier McKinney. Jackson was doing more at practice than he had in the past couple of days. I still, I have a little bit of optimism he's going to play this week. I would say the chances are he's doubtful, so he doesn't have a great chance. But I do think next week against the Indianapolis Colts, that's when Adoree Jackson could get back. Xavier McKinney was also doing a little bit more at practice today. They said he was squeezing some sort of rubber ball, trying to build up that grip strength in that hand that he broke on the bye week, on vacation, on an ATV ride. I I'll never I'll never get over that. Hopefully he can come back. I mean, the fact that the Giants are playing this well on defense right now without their two best defensive backs is pretty damn impressive. These are guys that were limited participants at practice. This, this is somewhat concerning for me, these two guys – at the top of the list, Evan Neal dealing with a shoulder injury. Um, if you go back and watch the film, there was a play against the Washington Commanders and a play against the Philadelphia Eagles where he gets engaged in a block, and then the guy kind of runs past him, and after the guy, they become disengaged, Neal starts holding his left shoulder. So there's definitely some sort of injury right there. He's been nursing that. Kayvon Thibodeau's doing with the elbow. I expect both of them to play, but it's never a good sign when you see your top two rookies on the injury report. Tight end Nick Vanette is dealing with a shoulder injury, and Leonard Williams is still dealing with that neck injury that held him out in the game a couple of weeks ago. Did play last week. I expect him to once again be on the field playing for the New York football Giants. We're going to get to my preview coming up here in a second. I'll give you my keys to victory if the Giants want to beat the Vikings and essentially clinch a playoff spot because if the Giants win this Saturday, they're going to be a 99% chance to make the playoffs. But look, I don't just want to win on the football field. I want to win in the subscriber battle. We have multiple NFL channels here at Chat Sports. I host our Giants channel. And producer Patrick Seatman, which you guys know and love, produces our Vikings channel. He's the host there. And right now, they're beating us in subscribers picked up this week. And that pisses me off. So help me out, unless you're a Vikings fan. If you're a Giants fan and you're looking for Giants content every single day, hit that big red button and help us catch Vikings today. I also want to tell you quickly about our sponsor, our proud sponsor, and a sponsor that I love and is helping me out a lot to save money is Rocket Money. Go to rocketmoney.com slash Giants now. Cancel unnecessary subscriptions. Keep track of your expenses. Optimize your finances with Rocket Money. Everyone's trying to save a dime these days, and I'm doing it with a credit to Rocket Money. Rocket Money is an app that shows all your subscriptions in one place and then cancels for you whatever you don't still want. Rocket Money can even find subscriptions you didn't know you were paying for. You may even find out you've been double charged for a subscription. To cancel a subscription, all you have to do is press cancel and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. View all of your subscriptions on one screen. Stay on top of upcoming bills. Let us cancel unwanted subscriptions for you. Get started today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash giants now. That is rocketmoney.com dot com slash giants now if you have a subscription that you don't want anymore and you don't want to go through the trouble of calling somebody and dealing with it going on the internet and searching through their website wasting so much time to cancel a subscription you're like is it even worth it well rocket money can do it with just a touch of a button go to rocketmoney.com slash giants now that that links in the comments and description of today's show let's get to the preview portion of today's show we got the giants at the vikings on Christmas Eve. Look, they're favorited. They're favored by four and a half points. It was as three points earlier in the week. It's up to four and a half. That means the money is coming in on the Minnesota Vikings. The total over under is a little bit higher than we've seen on a lot of Giants games this year. The Vikings have a potent offense. We'll talk about that. They also have a defense that gives up a lot of points. Total over under is at 47 and a half. Usually you see Giants games anywhere from 39 to 44 points. So Vegas is telling you they might be expecting a little bit of a shootout come this Saturday on Christmas Eve. Let's go through my biggest four keys to victory. I don't want to try to be that guy, but you got to try to slow down Justin Jefferson. You're not going to stop him. You're not going to eliminate him. You're not going to make him irrelevant, but just try to slow him down. Because when you look at the stats, the dude is having one of the best seasons in modern history at the wide receiver position. I mean... What Cooper Cup did last year was impressive, and this is just as impressive. 1,600 yards with three more games to play, seven touchdowns. He's been targeted 111 times. Their offense runs through Justin Jefferson. They are going to do everything they can to get him the football. They'll put him in motion. They'll play him in the slot. They'll play him outside. 
They're trying to get 18 the football. And that's going to come down to this defensive back core for the Giants. Noah Dory Jackson most likely. So you're going to see guys like Fabian Morrow on him. Maybe you'll see some Nick McLeod. Maybe a little bit of Cordell Flott. Probably see Darnay Holmes on him in the slot. It's going to be tough. You don't just slow down a guy like Justin Jefferson. It's going to take a double team, maybe even a triple team. I'd like to get some hands on him on the line of scrimmage and have a safety shadow to his side. But he's not their only weapon. They also have other guys like Adam Thielen and uh, Cook. Like They're a good team. You're going to have to bring your A game on the defensive side of the ball. To go hand in hand with that, you got to put up points this week. You're not going to win this football game most likely scoring 20 points, 22, 23, 24 points. It might be time for the Giants offense to have their first 30-point game since October of 2020. Yes, you heard that right. The Giants have not scored 30 points in a football game since 2020. 2022. Look, the the Vikings defensive, the Vikings stats Great job right there, Roly. Viking stats so far in the season, points per game. They score 25 points per game, which is eighth in the NFL. But they allow the 20, or they allow the fourth most. They have the 28th ranked scoring defense. They also allow the most yards per game in the National Football League. So they're going to put up points, no doubt about it. We've seen them come back from 33 points like we did last week. You're going to have to keep up with them. They are an explosive offense. But their defense is cheeks. They're the worst yards per game defense in the NFL. And then the four, they allow the fourth most points per game. 28th ranked scoring defense. Got to find a way to put up points this week. So I'll ask this question. Will the Giants score 30 points this week? I think it's going to take 28 plus points if you want to beat the Vikings come Saturday. What do you say? Type O for over, U for under. And remember, the Giants haven't scored 30 points since 2020. This is bland, this is chalk, this is boring, but it's a fact. Win the turnover battle. When the Giants win the turnover battle, when they don't turn the football over, they can compete against any team in the NFL. Shout out to Justin Pennick of Talking Giants. Give him a follow on Twitter. They're also a great YouTube page. The record when the Giants turned the ball over, they're 3-4-1. and one. When they did not turn the ball over, they're 5-1. and one. When they won the turnover battle, they're six and one. And when they lost the turnover battle, they're one and four. So this shows you how critical it is for the Giants to take care of the ball on the offensive side of the field. You have to eliminate the turnover worthy plays. And that's what Daniel Jones has done so far this year. Are the stats sexy? No. Are they an explosive offense? No. Are they really all that fun to watch on offense? No. But you know what's fun? Going six and one. That's damn fun. Let's not turn the football over and let's win the turnover battle. And I think the Giants can win this football game. I think the biggest key of it all, though, and this is going to help slow down that potent offense over in Minnesota, is getting pressure on a guy like Kirk Cousins. I need Aziz Ojolari. I need Dexter Lawrence. I need Leonard Williams and Kayvon Thibodeau to get after Kirk Cousins. Because when you see Cousins under pressure, that's usually the worst part of his game. When under pressure this season, Cousins completes just 50% of his passes. If that front four is able to get home, Without sending extra rushers, this defense can have a chance to slow down one of the most high-powered offenses in the National Football League. When you look at the Giants' defensive line depth chart, you need the front four to get home without sending extra people. Thibodeau, Williams, Lawrence, Ojolari. I need four sacks out of you guys. Whether that's one each, two for Tibbs, two for Ojolari, one for Lawrence. I don't give a shit. You need these four guys to get after the quarterback so they can put pressure on Kirk Cousins so he can't just sit in the pocket and look for Justin Jefferson and Adam Thielen all over the football field. I've given you my keys to victory. Now I want to know, who do you got? Who is going to win the football game this Saturday? Who are you rolling with? Type NYG for the Giants, MIN for the Minnesota Vikings. What do you say? Sound off down below. And make sure you guys are following me over on Twitter. I'm tweeting about the Giants all day, every day. And I'm looking to follow and interact with more Giants fans on Twitter. So give me a follow at Marshall Green underscore. And if you send me a DM after you follow me, just saying preview, so I know you came from the preview video, I'll give you a follow back. Pens says, um, Marsh. Why are you saying, um, Marsh? Um, Pens, what up, man?
What is this, E? Dying of thirst back here. N-Y-G-M-I-N. Rolly, you've watched a couple of Vikings games this year. I have. What's going to be – what do the Giants have to do? Well, you mentioned Justin Jefferson. and Got to slow him down. I mean, it is the most paramount thing I think there is. I mean, it's hard to slow down a talent like that. But the Patriots played the Vikings on Thanksgiving. I hate to bring the Patriots into this because I know you guys want the Giants. But the sole reason why they lost that game is because Justin Jefferson just dominated them. Whenever it was one-on-one, he caught the ball. And if it was double coverage and they tried to stop him, then Adam Thielen would just get open. And what will be interesting to me, oh, oh. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Cowboys fan Tom Cowboys. Downey. Oh, there you are. Well. Good job beating the commies. Screw the commies. Screw co- the, but screw Dean, Dean Blandino. Yeah, <laughs> screw Dean Blandino. But I just want to say this. I don't know if he's going to play, but K.J. Osborne is coming off the best game of his career against Detroit, or excuse me, Indianapolis this past Saturday. If y'all double Justin Jefferson, he's a bucket. He will get open. So their wide receivers are going to need to be tamed. Our defensive back crew right now is not that strong, especially without a Dory Jackson, without Xavier McKinney. You're going to guys like Fabian Morrow, Cordell Flott, Darnay Holmes. As we got our Cowboy fan of Giants now saying, how's last place feeling, Marsh? We're not in last place, so I don't know what you're talking about, my guy. Um, I appreciate the two dollars, um, but no, we're not in last place in the division. We're we're not. The Washington Commanders are, but uh, I appreciate you, Brett. Got to be sharper than that, my guy. Got to be sharper than that. How uh, how's that loss to the Jags feeling? I don't. Do you guys know what it feels like to lose to the Jags? Because I don't. Giants fans don't. Giants fans don't know what it feels like to lose to Brett. Brett, are you there? I'm sure Brett, yeah. Everyone type L in the comment section right now because Brett tried to pull a fast one saying that we're in last place and he just is wrong. Everyone type your L's in the comment section for Brett. Get those L's in the chat going. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, he's back with another one. Brett with a $2 super chat says, oh, my bad with the loss. I was wrong. You damn sure weren't right. (laughs) You damn sure weren't right. But, Brett, I love the banter we always have. Um... Congrats on on the almost win versus the the, the tough Jacksonville Jaguars. (laughs) Oh, Brett, I appreciate you. I will say this, though. I will say this. Brett is never scared, and he's always showing love to the channel, and he's the only person that has super chatted twice today. Where are the Giants fans at? We're being outdone by Cowboys fans. I know Ace is sending the 20, and he's the super chat MVP. Brett sent in two Super Chats so far. Somewhat disappointing. Here we go. We got a mailbag coming up. Use hashtag Giants to be featured on the show. Rolly, how are we looking in the questions department? I feel like we're pretty light. I'd say we're pretty light. We I need mean, some more questions. We There is enough, but I just, you know, my experience here on Giants now, I just expected more. We definitely need more for both mailbags. Oh, we definitely need more for a second round back. We can get through one, but Giants Nation, Giants Faithful, come on. If you could, Melinda, or DJ, or Kaheen, or Marty, or Devon, if you could use hashtag Giants in the comment section and ask a question, I would greatly appreciate it. Oh, Brett! Brett back with another super chat. Look. If, if this is what it's turning into, it is what it is. It says, congrats on the almost playoff appearance. We're in the playoffs. We're in the six wild card spot. One behind you. The Cowboys are in the fifth spot. That Rolly, I know you don't live, in, and you haven't lived here for long. 
but they are the most annoying fan base in sports. I mean, this is kind of known, though. I know, but when you live in Texas, it's worse. I kind of can see it. I've only been here about three and a half. Four He's not even guaranteed to make the playoffs. Or are they? No, Cowboys no, are clinched. No, they are guaranteed. Cowboys are clinched. They will, but they're going to lose to the Bucks round one? You don't want to hear – oh, they are going to lose to the Bucks round one. That is a – Tom lot. Brady is going to lay his nuts on the Cowboys' face. I do want to say this, Marsh. Um, it is kind of tough that the Giants put the Cowboys in the playoffs. Did they? Because the reason why they got in is because the Commanders lost. So, oh. if the Giants didn't win, the Cowboys wouldn't have clinched. But the Giants won, which obviously is priority number one. But we needed that. Yeah, yeah, no, we need that. No doubt about it. Brett, I appreciate your contributions. As always, I love the back and shit, back and forth, back and shit, back and forth shit talking. Okay, so C-Note, we see your man. We're, we see all the super chats coming in. Let's hit all of them except for C-Notes. C-Notes is a good one to start the mailbag with. Let's hit Brody's right now. Brody, a man of – just a man that's always showing love. He's a real one. That's what makes Brody a real one. Living in ND, there are way too many Vikings fans. Need a whim or I am toasted. That sounds life or death. I don't want you toasted, Brody, unless we're talking about another kind of toasted. But I never want that from you. I'm perp. I'm perp with a two dollars or a dollar super chat. Shout out to I'm perp. I appreciate it. And then Michael, Michael with a two dollar super chat says, "Go Vikings!" with a Seahawks emoji, a Seahawks picture. Is that because the Seahawks get in the playoffs or have a better chance if the Vikings beat the Giants? Has to be right. Yeah, I mean they're just rooting for the teams ahead of them, like the Commanders and Giants. The Giants only have to win one more game and they're in the playoffs. What is tough is that they better because the Seahawks, we talked about it earlier in the show, do hold the tiebreaker over the Giants. So. Well, it's kind of, but since we have a oh, tie. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot about the tie. Since comes we tied, you. there's technically no tiebreakers anymore. Unless the Seahawks tie. Yeah. If the then the, then yeah. you're screwed. If the Seahawks tie, then yes. If the Seahawks go 2-0-1 oh, and, and the Giants drop 1-2, and two? is that how it works? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because it goes down to winning percentage. Yeah. And right now, I think they have seven losses. I think they're seven and seven Yeah, right they're now. seven and seven. So, yeah, they're definitely going to be rooting for the Vikings. A loss doesn't really hurt the Giants. Uh, I think right now um, – let me, let, me, let me check my math real quick. Right now, the Giants have an 88% chance to make the playoffs. If they lose, it drops to 82. So, they're still in a really, really good spot. It just makes that game against the Colts that much more interesting. Shout out to Michael and Brett. Brett's back with another one. He says, what sucks is I can only talk so much. Yeah, that's the beauty of you doing your own show. That's the beauty of doing your own show. I get to say whatever I want. But Brett, you're a real one. Crim's dad is calling out the Giants fans in the chat. He says, Brett. It's outspending the Giants fans. I never have a doubt. I'll do this. How about this? We're at $42. Doesn't this helmet look awesome with all these stickers? Like, this is so damn cool to me. Like, we are so close. We're, the next stickers are on the brim. We're going on the brim for the next stickers. And we got one here, one here, one here, and one here. We're running out of spots. But I'll say this. We're at $42 in Super Chats. <clears throat> if we get to 100 if we get to 100 I'll wear the hard hat for the last mailbag. If we get to 100 we're 42 right now. We're 48 away. If we get to 100 I will wear the hard hat for the last uh, mailbag. One could probably go right here as well. I did a much better job on this side than this side. But uh, still looks pretty damn freaking cool. All righty. Make sure you guys have gotten your questions into the show. Get your questions in the show. Use hashtag Giants. Please, I would appreciate it so we could do our mailbags. Look, we just want to chop it up with people that love the New York football Giants. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up icon. We're at 81 likes. Once we get to 100 likes, I'm going to take a shot of Fireball. 
you haven't got your question in, use hashtag Giants or you're just not going to get picked. Guarantee your spot with a super chat to get on the show. If not, it's going to be up to Roly whether who gets on the show or not. You are watching New York Giants now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. We have a mailbag coming up that aired on our live show. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Go down right now. Hit that big red sub button so you can be alerted any time we go live on the channel. And also, make sure your notifications are turned on. Hit that bell icon as well. Shout out to C-Note, the cyberpunk, a $5 super chat from a real one. Says, if we don't get a wide receiver one this offseason, how would you feel about the Giants possibly trading for either Cooper Cup or DeAndre Hopkins? Great question. Um, I'm not sure the Rams are ready to just kind of fold on what they have going on right now in Los Angeles. I'm not sure they would trade Cooper Cup just yet. But there have been rumors, and we've talked about it on the channel. I'm not totally against. I'm not totally against trading for a guy like DeAndre Hopkins. Um, I know he's a little bit older, but he's still one of the best receivers in the National Football League. Um, comes with a little pr uh, a hefty price tag. I think you would owe him about 24, 25 million next year if you traded for him. Which is kind of a discount for a wide receiver one, which he is. I mean, when the guy's on the football field, he's almost unguardable. I think it's time to get Daniel Jones an elite receiver, especially if we're going to bring him back. If we don't bring Jones back, I don't think there's a reason to go get a guy like DeAndre Hopkins, just continue to build through the draft. But look, if you bring back Jones, go get a guy like Hopkins or go get a guy like T. Higgins. Like, go out there and get a legit receiver for Daniel Jones. So, you know, great question. Appreciate the super chat. Another $5 super chat from Brett. What up, Brett? He says, I am happy the division isn't the laughing stick of the NFL. Yeah, I'm glad they're not the laughing stick either. Um, I think he meant stock, but I like saying laughing stick a little bit more. Um, I mean, look, when you look at the playoff picture, all four teams from the NFC beast are in the playoffs. Number one seed, Philadelphia Eagles. Cowboys have clinched. Giants are about a win and some, ch and some help away from clinching. Washington's still right there. Like, this is a good division. Like, anyone that hates on this division right now is just a hater. That's as simple as it is. Brett, I appreciate the $5 super chat, my guy. A real one, even though he's a Cowboy fan. Bob the Builder. What up, Brody? Says D. Uh, <laughs> this is the Bob the Builder, is it? He says, do you think the Giants should sign Dante Hightower since they cut Tay Crowder? Um, eh, like... I, maybe, I mean, when you look at this inside linebacker depth chart, you got guys like Micah McFadden, Jalen Smith, Cam Brown, Carter Coughlin. Still got Landon Collins. I don't have him on the depth chart because he's not yet officially signed to the roster. He's on the practice squad. But I bet that move is coming pretty soon. Um, Hightower is going to be, is he a Hall of Famer? Is Hightower a Hall of Famer? He's on the cusp, but he's just not, not that guy anymore. I mean, when you see what he did last year at one point you could say he was a top five inside linebacker in the national football league but hasn't played all year uh who knows if he's in game shape 64 tackles last year he just lacks the sideline to sideline speed that he once has one thing i do like about hightower is is he is a good uh he's a good blitzer and that's one of the better parts of his games last year he had 1.5 sacks but i think the year before he had five and a half sacks. So this is a guy that I think could fit into a Wink Martindale defense. But look, we're in week 16. Like, I don't know if you're signing someone that hasn't played all year this season. What do you say, though? Should the Giants sign Dante Hightower? What do you think? Should they sign him? They have a, a spot open, but I think it's going to go to Landon Collins. What do you say? Type S for sign. Type P for pass. Brett! Back with another one. Shout out to Brett. Says, how much does DJ get realistically? <sighs> That's a million dollar question right now. And I don't mean to like say that like that, but it is. Like, I don't know what he's worth. Is he a good quarterback? He's solid. Um, is he great? No. Like, we kind of know what Daniel Jones is at this point in his career, but, like, how much do you want to pay him? You want to pay him $30 million? I don't. 
I don't want to pay him any more than 25 million, to be quite frank with you. Can you get him a three-year deal, 60 million, 20 a pop? I wouldn't really want to pay him all that much money. I still think he has some stuff to prove before I give him a long-term contract and make him the franchise QB of this team. Is what he done this season impressive? No doubt about it. But this offense is so watered down, like of how much they're really asking of him. Um, but he's doing it and getting the job done with limited weapons. So, and then Brett comes back with another two dollar super chat and says, "How much would you pay him?" Two years, forty million. That's what I would offer. Two years, forty million. 20 a pop? Rolly, is that too much? Not enough? Too much? 20 mil for Daniel Jones? <laughs> Rolly says two for 30. I'll ask you, how much per year? It's a great question right here. How much per year would you pay Daniel Jones? Sound off in the comment section right now. Nelson, my guy, what up, man? He says, can the Giants use Kenny Galladay if the playoffs is confirmed? I think uh, the days of expecting anything from Kenny Galladay at this point are somewhat over. Like, Isaiah Hodgins is getting the reps over him. Um, he's just not that good anymore. Like, that's just what it is. I don't think he's loved by this coaching staff. Um, I'm kind of done with hoping for something from Kenny Galladay. I don't think he's going to get that much more reps the rest of the season. But Nelson... I appreciate the question, and I wish we could get something for him, from him. I mean, we're paying him 78, 72, whatever it is, something million dollars. It, it's been one of the worst contracts of all time. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Go to YouTube.com slash NYGiantsTV. Help us get to 22,000 subs. We're trying to get there by game day. If you haven't yet, sub to the channel. Sub for Giants Dubs. It's a trademark here on the channel. Lock us in. Giants videos every single day. Matt Robertson says, should Saquon Barkley be comeback player of the year? I think he should definitely be in the conversation for comeback player of the year. Right now, the odds are Geno Smith as the favorite, plus 100. Christian McCaffrey, plus 225. Jared Goff, plus 225. And then Saquon Barkley, plus 1,000. I'm going to go on a little bit of a tangent right here, Roly. What the hell is Geno Smith coming back from? This isn't most improved in the NBA. It says comeback player of the year. You don't get comeback player of the year for being shit and then being decent. Like, Gino's a cool story, but he doesn't deserve comeback player of the year. But that, in my opinion, is the guy that's going to win it. I think Saquon Barkley should be in the conversation. The season he's having this year compared to the seasons in the past, going through the injuries, he's had a hell of a year, man. Uh, lackluster couple of weeks, past couple of weeks, but he was good against Washington. I think he's getting healthy and he's going to start getting the ball rolling. Crim's dead, my guy. What up, Brody? He says, should Barkley as a – the Giants should put Barkley as a slot receiver more in Brightwell's running back. Remember that play, Crim's dad? Um, I think it was against the Packers where Barkley was in the right slot and he runs a drag across the field at like three yards. Giants give him the ball and he has all that room to run and he jab-stepped and made the defender fall. I like the idea of getting Saquon Barkley more involved as a receiver on this team and having a guy like Brightwell or Breida in the backfield. Barkley's just too good of a player to not try to get him the ball more. Um, I, I, I would love it. I, I'd love to see him in the slot a little bit more. Great idea, Crimstad. I do want to tell you guys about our proud sportsbook partner, BetUS. Go to chatsports.com slash bet, promo code chat125, 125% deposit bonus. Put 100 bucks into your account. They'll match it. 125% deposit bonus. They'll give you a free 125 bucks. Bet on the Giants. Money line. I am this week. I did last week. I'm pretty much a millionaire from betting on the Giants this year. You can do the same at chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code chat. Shout to BetUS. We've got your game. Marshlover37. Hashtag Giants. If the Giants win, are they in the playoffs? That's, that's pretty funny. As I see my guy Rick in the chat. Saying Gino is coming back from the Jets QB. Yeah, he wasn't good with them, though. Like To win comeback player of the year, you got to be good at one point. Maybe my understanding of the award is wrong, but whatever. Uh, hey, let's, let's look at the playoff picture, Marshlover37. What a name, by the way. Um, Look, 
Giants are in a good spot. They control their own destiny. I think if the Giants, if the Giants win one more football game this year, they're in. Like that, that's just the that's just the facts. That's just the facts, my guy. If you win one more game, you're in. Let's look at the playoff chances according to New York Times playoff predictor. Right now, the Giants have an 88% chance to make the playoffs. If they win versus Minnesota, they have a 99% chance. If they lose versus Minnesota, 82% chance. Okay, they lose versus Minnesota, 82% chance. Then if you lose versus Minnesota, but then win next week versus Indianapolis, you have a 98% chance. So even a loss this week doesn't hurt you, but you got to win one more game this year. You got the Vikings and you got the Colts and you got the Eagles. I'm hoping when you play the Eagles in week 18, they're resting their starters, but just win one more game. And even if you don't win another game this year, you still got a de decent shot. You can clinch this week if the Giants win. And then I think it's if the Seahawks lose and the Lions lose and Washington loses or two of the three happen, the Giants are in. So you have a clinching scenario come this Sunday. I'll ask you guys, though, will the Giants make the playoffs? What do you think? Will the Giants make the playoffs? I say yes. I think they're in. What do you say? Why for yes and for no? And make sure to give me a follow over on Twitter at Marshall Green underscore. I'm trying to get my Twitter followers up. Rick, a.k.a. Cha, gave me a follow on Twitter. It's the coolest follow I've got yet. I want you guys to be like Rick. Give me a follow at Marshall Green underscore. Rob says you have to win two more games to get in for sure. That, that's just not true. Um, if you win this week, I'm going to get the tweet out so I can just be 100% right. I put it on the show earlier. Um, the Giants can clinch a playoff spot Saturday with a win versus, New York, uh, versus Minnesota and two of the three to happen. Washington lose to San Francisco, Detroit losing to Carolina, and Seattle losing to Kansas City. Is Washington going to beat San Francisco? No chance. Is Seattle going to beat Kansas City? I would say no chance. Well, that one's more likely than Commanders being San But Fran. you're not betting on Seattle. I would absolutely not bet on Seattle. Sorry, Michael. So if you beat Minnesota and San Francisco and Kansas City win, you're in. So no, you don't need two more wins. So no, you don't. Also, if you remember seeing the graphic, even if they lose... So an 82% chance. They have an 82%, but that means if they just beat the Colts the following week, you're it's in. up to 98, yeah. which is you basically win, in. You win one more game, you're in. Like, that's what it is. Like, you win one more game and you win. you're in. I was Marsh and I were talking, I think after our live stream on Sunday against the Commanders, we were talking about the Giants' playoff chances. It was like, yeah, you got the top two seeds left in Philadelphia and Minnesota this week and then the week uh, yeah. 18. But you play the Colts in the middle of that, who are a dumpster fire. And if you want to call yourself a playoff team, you should win that game anyway. So, assuming they want to be a playoff team, they just got to win one game and they're in. Yeah. Like, yes, you are right. If they, Rob, if they do win two more games, they're clinching. But they don't have to win two more. They only have to win one more. And honestly, they don't even have to win any more and then they can get some help. But you are right. If they don't want any help from anybody else, just win two more games. Good point. Shout out to Brett. 20 a year with a – I would love that. He's talking game. about DJ. 20 a year? Like I, you're, I think you guys are under – overrating how much that is. Excuse me. But uh, – Where do you think 20 a year ranks amongst the NFL? <clears throat> I'd say it's about half, 15. It's higher? Lower? Really? <clears throat> okay, let's look. Well, my question to you, Brett, while he pulls this up, why would the Cowboys... 20th would be uh, 17. Oh, so I know what I'm you were talking close. about around here. But uh, why would the Cowboys want 20, year, uh, 20 mil a year for Daniel Jones? Dak is, no offense, better. So... I, I, think, I think he means like he would love for the Giants to Oh, pay him okay. Yeah. I see that now. So look, Rodgers makes 50. Russell Wilson, 49. Kyler <clears throat> Murray, 46. Deshaun Watson, 46. Mahomes, 45. Allen, 43. Derek Carr, 40. Tell me Carr's two times the quarterback Daniel Jones is? Probably not. Dak's making 40. Stafford's making 40. Cousins at 35. Goff at 33. Wentz at 32. Matt Ryan at 30. 
Tannehill at 29. Garoppolo at 27 and a half. This is crazy. Brady at 25. Brady always takes those team-friendly deals. Who's better, Winston or, or Jones? <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's a better question. Mitch Trubisky is making about 11 mil a year. I said DJ two for 30, so 15. Trubisky at 11 or DJ at 15? I'm taking DJ at 20 over Trubisky at 11. Trubisky blows. Dude, he sucks. He does, but I don't. Sorry, guys. We don't, I don't love Jones either. I don't think Daniel Jones has shown me anything to where I'd want to pay him $20 million. <clears throat> yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. Brett also said this. I'm not sure. Uh, I think he means watch y'all lose out. Watch y'all lo- lo- out. loss out. Lose out. Loss out, and uh, what was the other one? Win stick? <laughs> Brett's struggling with his words today, but he is super chatting, and he's super chatted more times than any Giants fan out there. He is a Cowboys fan, so we have let the Cowboys fan come into our stream. So uh, that stinks. But shout out to Brett. That's wild. That's wild. Is someone on that H cut or what? Let's see. I think it's on the channel. No chance. I say no chance. No chance. Oh, and we do have one more mailbag is our final segment. So keep on getting your questions in. It's on there. They just haven't pushed it out. Push it out, Tex. (laughs) Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, make sure you get those questions in like Giants fan here. Most favored to win the game. The Vikings are favorites. Yeah, Giants are favored to win the game. Shout out to Odell Beckham for getting a question. If you guys could get you some questions in. We're pretty thin right now, right? I think I could make it work, but the more the merrier. The more the merrier. Like, do you guys not want to see your name and your picture up on screen? If not, just, just screw me, I guess. We did get a $5 super chat from Crim's dad. It says, happy holidays to everyone. I hope everyone is having a great holiday season. Not going to lie. I'm really looking forward to going home. Uh, obviously, work Christmas Eve. We'll do the Giants game. I'm going to drive home Christmas morning from Dallas to Houston. About a four and a half, five hour r- r- ride. And uh, I'm off till next Sunday. Wait a minute. A full week. I took a full week off. Wow. What are you going to do? Any Giants videos going out? I'll have some videos go out, but I needed a break, dude. I needed yeah, a fair, recharge. That's fair. That's fair. I needed a recharge. Um, get ready for the playoff run. I'm excited to have some time off. I'll still do my best to get videos on the channel, but I needed some time off. So uh, happy holidays to y'all. Thank you to everyone that has shown love to the channel. Brett. Back with another $2 Super Chat says my dyslexia kicking in. (laughs) Hey, you're good, man. I'm dyslexic. I feel like I am. Sometimes words get all mixed together and letters. But Brett. Princess Sincere 1. That's a great question. If you add hashtag Giants to it, you can get featured on today's mailbag. Or our final mailbag. Because it's a great question. That is a good question. Brett with another $5. Brett! Brett with a $5 super chat. I grew up in the Richmond Sugarland area, if you know where that is. So uh, I'm from Richmond, but a lot more people know where Sugarland is. Richmond Rosenberg, Sugarland area. I am not sure where that is. Have you ever heard of Katie? Katie High School? Um, yeah, then, then you wouldn't know. Shout out to Brett. Another $5 super chat. We are $33 away. $33 away from wearing the hard hat for the final mailbag. So I'll do this. We'll do this. We're 33 bucks away. We'll put on the hard hat for the final mailbag. We'll do a two-minute shot clock. And all about this, every $5 super chat that comes in in the next two minutes, I'll take a shot of fireball. If a 10 comes in, I'll do two. 
15, I'll do three. 20, I'll do four. 30, looks like me and Rolly are going to be splitting up some shots. He didn't know about that. But we'll do it. We are 33 bucks away. Every $5 super chat that comes in in the next two minutes, we're going to take shots. Jason says, what's going on with Sammy Watkins? He signed with the Baltimore Ravens. So, no Giants for Sammy Watkins. No Giants for Sammy Watkins. He has gone back to the Baltimore Ravens. Shout out to Giants fan for getting a question in. Shout out to Giants fan. If you want to be featured on the mailbag, use hashtag Giants or go ahead and super chat right now. One more minute on the shot clock. Every $5 super chat that comes in in the next minute, we're taking shots to fireball and we're $33 away from putting on the hard hat for the mailbag. Individual asking for my score prediction. Odell getting a question in. I appreciate everyone that's got their question in so far today. We didn't get to 100 likes. I said if we got to 100 likes, I'll do a shot of fireball, so I'll do one right now for the squad. 30 more seconds, and then we'll start the mailbag if no soups come in. Woo! Fireball tastes like Christmas morning. That's a great take. Christmas morning. Great take. Like if you had some fireball, some cinnamon rolls. Do you get cinnamon rolls on Christmas morning? Because that is a yeah, roll-off that, family tradition. That's a green family tradition as well. Oh! oh! Crim's dad! Bang! He says, I want to see Rolly and Marsh arm wrestle. <laughs> we could do that. But I'm going to say this. My shoulder is so messed up. Yeah. Like, <sighs> I feel... I don't know. Would it... <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if that motion would hurt it. Listen, we can go left-handed where you will smoke me. I have a bad left hand. I have no strength in my left arm. I will openly admit that. And I'm not even the strongest guy, period. But I would say I have a massive advantage because Marshall's shoulder. I'd probably... <laughs> Uh, be able to catch How? the win if we want right handed. He's dusting me right now. I got some shots for Crim's dad as we got to $100 in super chats. Shout out to Crim's dad who has donated an Aziz Ojolari football to the channel. Can you run out there and see if that package is here? Yeah, I'll he be said right it's back, delivered, yes. and uh, I want to see if it's here. So we'll do that. If it is, we'll pop it up on the show. Not this week during the watch party because we have a special surprise. Uh, I'm, I still want to call you Cha, but Rick, I have not heard anything about his eye. He is on the injury report with an elbow issue. So, uh, I don't, I think he's going to play. Uh, I think he's going to play. Um, I haven't heard anything about the eye though. Yeah. On that last play, he got eye gouged. It should have been a penalty. A hands to the face. Also Dexter Lawrence on that last play got tackled. Oh, uh, oh, uh, yeah, let's open it up. Let's open it up. It's here, Crim's dad. She's here. And there's some goodies in there, I heard. <laughs> You're good. Just, just get that piece open. Crim's dad, I am excited, man. Shout out to Crim's dad and Cha, a.k.a. Rick, and Mrs. Cha, because they have donated to the show the next super chat items the past couple for the next two weeks and I never thought that would ever happen. I'm gonna go off screen here for a sec. Oh wow. Oh wow. This is amazing. Amazing. Oh my goodness. Fanatics Authentic. The Authentic Certificate. I don't even feel like I should be touching this. Like, do you touch these? Uh, keep it in the bag, probably? That's sick. I mean, you have to... Uh, I have to take it out. You, I mean, you have to take it out, so you're going to have to touch it. But 
you do got to get whoever wins this thing on Sunday or Saturday, excuse me. Next Saturday. Oh, it's next Saturday. This is the Colts game. This is okay. the Colts game ball. Okay. Colts game ball. If we haven't told you what it is, it's from Crim's dad who is on the screen. He donated it to the channel. Shout out to Crim's dad. Everyone type your CDs in the chat for Crim's dad because he donated a signed Aziz Ojolari football that we are going to be giving away to the Super Chat MVP against the Colts. Shout out to Crim's dad. This is this is freaking sweet, man. That's so cool, dude. No, oh I'll, I'll tell you God. this. And it's velvet. It's like a little velvet. I'll tell you this. Whoever wins this in a couple weeks, they got to have a little, I don't know what it's called. I would say frame, but it's like not a case? Really a frame. A case, yes. This is, you, 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 you case put that this in up. The case. You case that up. You put the certificate of authenticity on it or underneath. You got that piece lit up. It'd be sick, dude. To have it that. shows when the Giants started as a franchise. It the shows their ranks. NFL champions, their NFC championships, their Super Bowls. This is awesome, man. I'll also say this, Crim's dad. Appreciate the support. And no one else, I believe, has done this on any other channel. No. No one this has is ever. A first, this is a first at Chat Sports. This is a first. Like, Aziz Ojolari. This is freaking That's sick, sweet. Man. This is sweet. Crim's dad, I owe you, man. I don't. I, you guys are awesome. Like, the fact, the love and support you guys show to the channel. It's uh, it makes me a little warm and fuzzy inside sometimes. It really does. Like, it's very hum humbling is the word. Yeah, that's so cool, man. Because it's like, man, I, I'm doing this for a freaking living. The, the kid that I was, like, if I if I told my 10-year-old self that, hey, in 15, in, shit, 18 years, I'm 28 now, Jesus. Uh, in, in 18 years, you're going to be talking about the Giants for a living and you're going to have a good following. I would have called you a liar. But, Wow. That that's awesome. We got some shots to take because Crim's dad sent in thirty three dollars super chat. I already took one. What's that? Six. I owe five more. Five more. Here we go. Can y'all hear that? Hold on. Let me see if I can hear it. I can't hear it. They're singing "Red Nose Reindeer" in the in the studio behind us. If I can't hear it, I don't think you guys can be able to hear it. And that's probably a good thing because it's some terrible vocals. It's terrible. Let's roll through the rest of these super chats that came in. You guys are awesome. R Rolly, read this one for me. Recoil CM23 cents and $2. QB market is very inflated at the moment. DJ Daniel Jones at 25 mil is not bad. 25, and I don't want to be the guy that's complaining about five million dollars here but i'd like him closer to 20. how about this how about we compromise on my your 20 my 15 17 and a half i think two he for laughs 35. At you. i think he laughs at you no chance he has no right to be laughing at you sorry but he has no right i agree um steven says they can hear it <laughs> oh really yeah i'd be surprised because usually i would be able to pick it up Did I say it backwards? C note. C note says, "What did you think you were gonna be doing as an adult when you were a kid?" Did I say it wrong? If I did, you know, you know what I was talking about. The fireballs <laughs> fireballing right now. All right. Then we got. A, I agree with my guy Recon. Uh, Rico. Recoil. Recoil. Third time's a charm. I closer to twenty though. Two toe, my guy. Massive salutes and respects to Big Boss Marshy and all the diehard Giants fans in the house. And slap all the stinky boys and losers from the forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have a question for you, Tuto. It seems like you're a massive Italian. Have you ever heard of the Italian dish, chicken French or chicken Frances? That's what Rick AKA Cha made the other night when because I was on the phone with that him. That is to me the best Italian meal there is. And because my family's very Italian, but that's only a New York thing. Like that doesn't 
coming to Dallas. So I got an Italian joint out here. I ain't getting no chicken French. So I'm asking at, you. At Maggiano's, you are. Really? Yeah, but because I went there the other day. But it, it didn't come with noodles underneath it. I was kind of upset it was potatoes. Oh, that that's whack. Yeah, I'm sure you could change it at the restaurant. I mean, if you if it is the real chicken French and you can't switch it to get some pasta underneath, Cha saying it. Listen, I that's I, Rick. That's I, Rick. That's Rick. I botched the. How do you say it? Chicken Frances. I I can't speak. I'm so bad trying to chicken pronounce. Chicken Francese. Francese. Maybe, but it's called chicken French from Rochester, New York, where I'm from. But I know the Italian name is Chicken Francese. It's not Chicken French. You know, Francese, or how you say it, is just French. And it, <laughs> like, that's just what it means. Oh, my gosh. Y'all are hilarious. Shout out to Tuto, the best damn rugby player in the world. Franchise? That doesn't make any sense. Chicken Franchise? That Fr- doesn't sound Frances? right. Frances? Frances. That's Frances. probably right. Roly can't be Italian? What do you mean I can't be Italian? Yeah, you're not Italian. Yeah, he's just going to lie on camera right now. Rob Simpson with a $10 super chat. Shout out to Rob. Appreciate the support, my guy. All right. We're going to... Steven, are you from The Rock? (laughs) From Rochester? Where are you from in Rochester Wait, again? maybe that was the guy on the first ever time I was on Giants against the Seahawks. Was that him? That was the guy I was talking back and forth with uh, about Rochester. But then there was a guy this Sunday yeah. who was also from Rochester. Tutu, I see you calling that. But pollo, isn't that Spanish for chicken? <laughs> yeah, I thought that was Spanish for chicken. Does Italian in Spanish have the same word as chicken? Pollo a la francese. No, that that sounds right. But I thought pollo was chicken <laughs> in Latin. Oh, we got Pedro saying garbage plate. That's a Rochester special. It's not. It can't be garbage. It's it's only Rochester. This thing is legit. You can get pollo a la francese. I still think I'd buy pollo a la francese. You can get that in the city. <laughs> garbage plate. That's only Rochester. So, sorry, child, that my Italian is hurting your ears. Listen, <laughs> I, I wasn't taught Italian. I wish I was. Polo? Polo. Okay, so you don't, so, the two Y's don't make a, uh, okay, two so L's don't make a in Y. In Italian, it's polo. In Spanish, it's pollo. Because I know that for polo a fact. Polo a la francese. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> I don't know if we're saying it right. I, no, yours was good. I know for a fact, because I took two years of Spanish in college, that pollo is chicken. Pollo is chicken I know that in for a Spanish. Fact. <clears throat> but polo is chicken. Polo is in town. Like Marco Polo. It's interesting. I don't think that's that seems illegal to like mix it. Yeah, no, I don't like that. You can't have it be the same and spelling different. and pronounce differently. Come on, grow up, people. <laughs> All right. All right. The history lessons, the speaking lessons have. I do love coming on New York Giants now, though, because a lot of New Yorkers are Italian. And as much as you try to tell me, that I'm not Italian based on how I'm pronouncing chicken French. I'm sorry. It's nice He's to chop it up with Canadian, some Italian. dude. Oh, stop it now. Stop it now. You New Yorkers know where Rochester is. Yes, it's close to the Canadian border, but we got a lot of Italians up there. You know that. Come on. The Rock. The Rock. All righty. <clears throat> He's from Webster. I think I remember talking about this. Uh, you, you're South. not from Webster. No, I'm from Hilton. Hilton and Webster are about 40 minutes away. Eh, 35. Marco Polo has an L. Has one L. Well, we were told that's how it was pronounced, as Polo. Polo. This is... We got to stop. Yeah, we're, we got to go. We're embarrassing ourselves. We're embarrassing Steven, ourselves. Steven, to answer your question from earlier, though, I don't know when the next time I'm going to be in Iraq. But if I am... Whenever I'm in the Rock next... I'll try to link up with you. <laughs> I mean, I, I really don't know because my, my family's coming here for Christmas, so I don't know the next time I'm going to be back in the Rock. Could be next summer sometime, maybe. Let's ride. Still All close enough for drinks. That's my man. That's our guy. Make sure you have got your question in using hashtag Giants or Super Chat. Since we did get to $100, I'm going to wear the hard hat for the final mailbag. We're just a hard hat team. We're just a hard hat bunch of guys. We love our squad. 
What's a garbage plate? I know we got to get into the mailbag, but I do have to explain what a garbage plate is. I've tried to explain it to some people here in the office. You just throw mac salad, potatoes, cheeseburgers, hot dogs, hot sauce, sometimes baked beans. I know it's a hot, hot take, but baked beans sometimes are good. You throw all these things on one plate, and it's just a mountain of food. It's called the garbage plate because when it gets mixed up, the colors look kind of nasty with the mac salad, the hot sauce, and it's got to be meat hot sauce, not like red hot or something like that, meat hot sauce. And you just eat it all combined. It's pretty good. Steven says best thing ever. I love people, Rochester people, it's like a cult with garbage plates. But I will say I'm a double burger guy. Steven, let me know what you are because I know there's Bill's chicken. a double burger. It means instead of a burger and a dog, you get two burgers. You can do. Uh, you can go two dogs. You can even get two chicken tenders. They just chop them up. Yeah, I mean you gotta use your knife. Get it active. Okay. Ricky says Heartburn Express. Uh, you aren't lying there most of the times. Jay Live, my guy says, what in the world is he talking about? Something called a garbage plate. Sounds pretty. If, you're ever in, if anyone's ever in Rochester, Stephen, you could back me up. Nick Tahoe's probably the best place in the Rock. Either pulled double pork? burger or tenders and pulled pork. I can't say I've ever done a pulled pork burger. That sounds kind of fire. It does. I don't think I like mac salad, though. I'll be honest. Mac salad is probably the most popular side to go with the meat. I don't get mac salad on mine. I don't I'm like a little it. bit fraudulent. I get baked beans and, like, tater tots. But that's kind of fraudulent. <laughs> Was it on Man vs. Food? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, Alzo. Alzo, you're right. You All right, dad. let's get into the mailbag. Let's get into the mailbag. Here we go. Get your questions in using hashtag Giants. Welcome into New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. We're about to get into a mailbag where we answer questions from subscribers. If I missed your question, you can always hit me up on Twitter at Marshall Green underscore. Give me a follow. I'll give you a follow back. Just let me know that you came from this video. First question coming in from my guy, C-Note. What up, brother? He says, you think Kenny Galladay will get at least one TD this season? Shot for the Super Chat as well. No, I don't. Um, at one point, I thought Kenny Galladay could turn it around. I thought he would be a guy that would get involved in this offense once he came back from injury, came back from that hand, hamstring. Um... No, it, it just seems like he's not a guy that's a part of this game plan going forward on the offensive end. We've seen Isaiah Hodgins take his snaps. We've seen Marcus Johnson get snaps ahead of him. Richie James, Darius Slayton. Um, for whatever reason, Kenny Galladay has not worked out for the Giants. I don't know if he's washed. This is the second staff in a row it hasn't worked out. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. I hope. Hope I'm wrong, but I don't see it happening. Tuto with a $5 super chat. Big Marshy, we're 11 and 7 now, and we're playing next two matches of season on Fridays due to holidays. Please, all diehard Giants fans, pray for our victims. Shout out to Tuto, the best damn rugby player in the world, and one of the biggest Giants fans I know. Shout out to Tuto for the $5 super chat. He's a real one. This one coming in from Odell Beckham. Never heard of him. How long till Xavier McKinney is back? I'm hoping McKinney comes back for week 18 against the Philadelphia Eagles. He did a light warm-up on Sunday night against the Washington football team, or commanders. I still say football team. They change their name every year. It's so hard. Um, did a little bit more practice this week. Not going to play this week against the Minnesota Vikings. I'd say he's doubtful for the Colts, and I think he has a good shot against the Philadelphia Eagles in the last week of the season. Um, that, that's the date that I have circled the last day of the season against the Eagles. This one coming in from prime time likes me, Kayvon Thibodeau with one of the quotes of the year. He was asked about playing on prime time football and if he likes it and he says, prime time likes me. What does the 20 hashtag giants, what does the 2023 NFL free agent wide receiver class look like? Great question. Um, because we all know the giants need a guy at a wide receiver. Oh, are they going to do it in free agency? Are they going to do it in the draft? Well, let's look at, at my opinion, the top 10 wide receivers that are going to be on the market in NFL free agency. It's not that good of a class. I mean, I think the best guy is probably Juju Smith-Schuster. You have Odell Beckham Jr., of course. Then you got guys like Jacoby Myers, who's solid. Paris Campbell's okay. 
Matt Collins, eh. Alan Lazard is okay. I like Marvin Jones, but he's getting older and older. A guy that I would keep my eye on for the New York Giants is either Juju Smith-Schuster or Miko Hardman. I think Miko Hardman makes some sense. Um, spent some time with the Chiefs, spent some time with Mike Kafka, who was at one point the QB coach for the Chiefs. Now he's the offensive coordinator for the Giants. Uh, I'd be down for a guy like DJ Chark. Um, I'd keep my eyes on OBJ, Hardman, Smith-Schuster, or maybe a guy like Alan Lazard, or maybe a cheap contract for a veteran like Marvin Jones. Obviously, there's more than just 10 wide receivers. These are the guys that I thought were the top 10, but I want to hear from you. Name a wide receiver you want the Giants to sign. Go on down in the comments section and let me know. Name a wide receiver you want the Giants to sign. I feel like a lot of people are going to be typing OBJ. Mr. Yair, hope I'm saying that right. How far is the Giants making it to the playoffs? How far are they making it in the playoffs? You know, I think anything is possible once you get into the playoffs. I mean, when the Giants won their last two Super Bowls, they got in as wild card teams. You're always one injury away, whether it's your team or another team from their season completely changing. I think anything can happen once you get into the playoffs. Can they win a playoff game? I think so. Um, I think they could beat the Niners versus Brock Purdy, no Debo Samuel. Um, it's going to be tough. They're a damn good football team. I think they could beat them. They get matched up with the Vikings in the playoffs. I think they could beat them. I don't think it's out of the realm to say the Giants could win a playoff game. Will they be favored? No doubt. They will not. No. But we've seen this before where the Giants come in as underdogs, start winning games on the road, get momentum, and they're a team you don't want to mess with. Um, I think the Giants could win a playoff game. That, that's what I'll say right now. Steven, my guy, says, how do we feel about $100 million, four years, $25 million a year, easy out after two if needed with $60 million guaranteed? I don't hate that. Uh, I don't hate that. Um, I would like there to be an easy out after year two with 50 guaranteed. Um, for Daniel Jones, of course, talking about the Daniel Jones contract. Four years, 100 mil, 25 per a year with an out after year two. I'd like that to be closer to 50, 60. I wouldn't hate it if he signed a contract like that. I just want to keep it somewhat to a shorter contract. That's why I like the out after year two. So I think he still has some stuff to prove before we just declare that he's the franchise quarterback going forward. I like DJ. Um, but you all at your job as an NFL franchise is always to try to upgrade at the quarterback position. And we have to be honest, DJ's not a top 10, top 12, top 14 guy. Um, Everyone's got their opinions on DJ. I like him. I don't love him. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Go to youtube.com slash TV. We're getting closer and closer to 22,000 subscribers on the channel. It's It's been a hell of a ride this season. Uh, we've already doubled our subscriber count, and we're going to look to add more and more and continue to put out videos every single day on the latest news and rumors. If you love the Giants, you bleed Giants blue and red, Go down right now. Hit that big red sub button. Sub for Giants Dubs. Junior. What up, brother? He says, prediction on Jefferson's stat line this week. <laughs> Hopefully zero catches, zero yards, and zero touchdowns, right? Um, he's going to have a good game. Uh, Noah Dory Jackson is going to be tough to slow him down. The guy's averaging over 100 yards per game right now. Six grabs for 120 and a touchdown. Is that too light? It would like, and I don't think that's like, a, I don't know. It's going to be tough. Seven grabs, one ten. I think he scores. I think he gets over a hundred yards. Like their offense runs through him, just like the offense for the Rams last year ran through Cooper Cup. They have McConnell. He came over. Now he's their head coach. Was the play caller or the OC? Obviously, McVay calls the plays. But um, you got to find a way. Got to find a way to slow down a guy like Justin Jefferson. Grim's dad, my guy, a real one, says info on Sterling Shepard coming back next year. I think there's a possibility for sure. I think the fact that he's stuck around even though he got hurt towards ACL, um, like you don't really see guys that tear their ACL and they continue to hang around the team and be involved. And I don't mean this in a disrespectful way, but be a hype man and be a cheerleader and be a damn good teammate. That's what Sterling Shepard is right now. Every time he's there at the Giants game, he's on the sidelines. Most guys don't do that after they suffer an ACL injury. I'm a huge fan of Sterling Shepard. Uh, probably one of my favorite players on the Giants right now. 
He just plays with heart. He loves being a giant. He's the longest tenured one on the roster. It just sucks seeing that his body has somewhat given up on him. Look, I wouldn't give him a long-term deal. I wouldn't give him a lot of money. But if he wants to come back next year on a one-year prove-it deal, sign me up. I'd love to see number three back for the in blue for the Giants. We'll get to more questions <clears throat> here in a second, but I at first want to give a big shout-out to our proud sportsbook partner here at Chat Sports. That is BetUS, the best sports book in the game with the best sports book deposit. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code chat. They're going to hook you guys up with a 125% deposit bonus. Put 100 bucks in. They'll give you 125 for free. You have 225 in your account to bet with. Bet on the Giants. You bet on the Knicks. They've won a lot of games in a row. They're way better than Miami Heat. Suck it, Rolly. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code chat125. Swaggy7, what up, bro? He says, Marsh, I think there's a better chance we win against the Vikings than to the Colts. I feel like if Saquon really breaks out and Kayvon stays hot, we can squeak out a win. Love your vids. I appreciate the love, appreciate the support. And look, I'm not saying we can't beat the Vikings, and I hope it didn't come across as that. I just think the Colts are a better matchup for us. Um, Vikings have an explosive offense. They like to throw the football. And without a guy like a Dory Jackson or Xavier McKinney, I don't think it's the best matchup for New York. But the Giants can absolutely win this game. The Vikings, they're not a team that's just going to come through and dominate a team. Like they're, they're a bad defense. They allow, I think, the fourth most points per game in the NFL. And they have the worst yardage per game defense in the NFL. So you're going to be able to put up points on them. It's just going to be a matter of if the Giants are going to be able to do that. They give up 30 points a lot to teams. And I see Rick in the comments saying Vikings are prime for the taking. They are. Um, Giants can win this game. I, I actually like the Giants to win the game. Jay Liv, my guy, says, do the Giants look at a QB in the draft? What are their options? <sighs> Million dollar question right there, Jay Liv. Um, I think the Giants will look at the QB position. Not saying they are going to draft one in round one, but they'll do their evaluations. They'll scout them. I bet the Giants will pick somewhere from 18 to 24, something like that. Um, it's just hard to find your franchise QB at that part. Look, if they go through this process and they fall in love with a QB, maybe they go up and trade for a guy. Um, it's going to take a lot to do that. We've seen what it's costed uh, in the past for teams to do that. I think the Giants are going to look at the second and third round for a QB if I had to predict what I think happens is they give Daniel Jones a two-year deal. They draft a QB in day two of the draft, and they try to develop him. If they suck next year, which I don't think will happen, they'll be back at the top of the draft, then maybe they go get a guy like Drake May or Caleb Williams. Um, it's going to be interesting. Interesting couple of months, no doubt about it, Jay Liv. Uh, I think they will look at the QB. Um, they fall in love with one. They'll make the moves. If not, They'll, they'll kick the can down the road. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Individual says score prediction for this weekend. This one's tough. Because I think the Giants can win. I don't know that they will win. Like, I knew they were going to win against the Washington football team. I was confident. I knew that they were going to come out. They're the better coach team. Brian Dable's such a better coach than Riverboat Ron Rivera. Such a fraud. Um, give me the Giants. 31-27. 31-27. They find a way to slow down the offensive attack against the Minnesota Vikings. Daniel Jones puts together a touchdown winning drive to give the Giants a win. 31-27. Boat crew. Look at that picture blows. The Giants need another cornerback. Who is your number one target? Um, I think the Giants are going to look towards the free agent market at the cornerback spot. And there's a lot of good ones coming up. You got a guy like Jonathan Jones playing for the New England Patriots. I just kind of worry about signing players from New England because it's like, is he good? Is he good because of the system? Or is he good and he's good because of the system? You never really know. I like Emmanuel Mosley a lot. He was great for the Niners last year towards ACL this season. I know that's always tricky to sign a cornerback like that, but he's a damn good player. Marcus Peters, a guy that spent time, obviously, with Wink Martindale. I think he'll be in the decision a decision possibly for the Giants. Rocky Sin of the uh, Las Vegas Raiders. He's a physical corner on the outside. Likes to play a lot of bump and run man coverage. That's what the Giants love to do. A name that I would keep in mind though is Jamel Dean, the 26-year-old corner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. A guy that I think is only getting better and better. Has not hit his prime. He's younger than all of these guys right here. I think any one of these guys could be Giants 
at the end of the season come free agency. What do you say, though? Name a cornerback you want the Giants to sign. doesn't have to be one of the five that I mentioned. It could be anyone that you think. Maybe you want Patrick Peterson. Maybe you want someone else. Give me a corner you think the Giants should sign in free agency. Go off. Sound off down below. And make sure to give me a follow over on Twitter at Marshall Green underscore. Give me a follow. I'll give you a follow back. Just DM me mailbag so I know that you came from this video. Woo! Bobby Good Times with a $5 super chat. Says you would think that Daniel and the O-line could only get better with a wide out one. Yeah, this team gets much better if you add in a legit wide receiver on the outside. I think you got to add a couple. Uh, you're going to get Wandell Robinson back next year, coming back from injury. But I'm not ready for him to be a wide receiver, too. Like, go get two playmakers in the offseason at the wide receiver spot. So you don't have to spend $25 million for both of them. But can we get two $15 million receivers? Can we get T. Higgins? Can we get Odell Beckham Jr.? Can we get T. Higgins in... Um, maybe a guy like Miko Hardman. Like, I think the Giants are going to go out and make a move for a receiver, no doubt about it. All righty. We got to sign off. I'm running late for my Knicks game tonight. I got to get rolling on that. So I appreciate everybody that tuned in today. You guys were awesome, as always. We will be live on the channel for the Christmas Eve game. Giants at Vikings. It's going to be an awesome game. We have an awesome giveaway. Um, Cha, Rick, Miss Rick, Miss Cha, if you're watching, thank you. Also, thank you to Crim's dad for donating an Aziz Ojolari football that was signed by him. We'll be giving that away on the Colts game in two weeks. Um, I haven't said what, uh, what my guy Rick, a.k.a. Cha, has donated because I don't want to spoil it, but it's pretty freaking sweet. So um, until then, go Giants. See you Sunday. Saturday.